Hi, I'm Shelley. I'm a child and youth care worker and family support worker here at the Child Development Centre in Williams Lake, BC. Um, today we're going to work on an art project like the one you see here. Um, this was a project that was um, part of our Uptown Art Program that we run here at the Carol Chicotin Child Development Centre throughout the year. Um, so we did this nature collage and the spinners and weavers came in from the Caribou, Central Caribou Arts Centre um, to show us how to do this. So they showed, um, oh, probably a group of, of 10 children and youth how to work on one of these awesome nature collages. And this is Anneke, a co-worker of mine. She's going to show you the types of um, things we're gonna use for the um, collage. So I went for a walk out in the woods and that, that's a wonderful thing for families to do, to get out into the fresh air. And especially this time of year when things are popping up and green and fresh. So we'll start at the back here. These are just some fir boughs from a fir tree. They're very soft. This is from a juniper bush. They're kind of prickly. The, this one has some berries on it, you can see. So that's the female bush. This is really cool. It's called rattlesnake plantain and it kind of looks like a rattlesnake. And this is princess pine, this one. And this one is bunch berry. You'll get a flower that looks like a dogwood and then some berries. And these are different kinds of moss, these three. And this one too, it's, I like it because it's kind of a neon color. And then this is lichen. Both of these are actually in the caribou like to eat those. This one I call witch's hair because it looks like witch's hair. And then there's these ones here. It's called kanikanik. So it's a really cool plant and this one is organ grape and it's kind of prickly and it gets little berries on there and I found these on the lawn outside here of our autism center and I think they're maple leaves so these are all available in Williams Lake in the bush so now that you have all your materials gathered Tracy is going to show us how to make the frame so Tracy works at our front desk here at the Caribou Chilcote and Child Development Center Okay, thanks. So we are putting together our frame with some wood pieces that we've picked up. Um, this happens to be fir. You can use any kind of wood that you find that's small. I think these are probably about a, a half inch to an inch in diameter. You don't want them too big because then your wall hanging is going to get a little too heavy. Um, and the way that we bind these, we don't need to use anything but maybe some natural uh, jute or some string if you have some string or some wool in your home and I'm just going to demonstrate how to connect them at the edges so I'll get you to do a little close-up here we want to put it in the shape that we want it some sticks are going to be longer than others so we want to make sure that we have somewhat of a square like our demonstrated piece here and no two will be the same which makes these really fun and whimsical so I'm just going to lay mine kind of out like that because I think that's pretty pretty much the same. If your wood's a little bit thicker, you can always put a little nail in there or some glue, but I don't think we'll need that for this size. So I've just got some small twine. You can use stuff that you find in your kitchen for tying up your turkey or anything that you have around, maybe some wool bits. And I'm just going to feed the string underneath on a diagonal and I'm going to give it a little tie. Make it a little bit tight so it doesn't come loose. If you can see that. So we just got a nice loose knot in there and then I'm going to take my long end and I'm going to go the opposite direction to this one and just wrap it around. There we go. So wrap it around a couple times and then you can go in the other direction and you're going to do this on all four corners. So we'll just take a little break and you guys can work on making your frames and come back and see us and we will move on to the next step. So we're back and we've got our frame strung and as you can see I have added some strings that go crisscross. Um, we've got two projects here going so you can show how you can do things just a little bit differently whatever works for you because it's completely your vision. Um, my strings are going crosswise and up and down to create kind of a grid. 
and all I did was just keep wrapping my my string around and secured it on the corners and Cheyenne who's joining me has another frame hers is made out of lilac which is a little bit smoother than mine and it's just got the lines that go side to side so we have these prepared and we can start adding some of our our items so I think that I'm going to just go grab some of those and bring them a little closer what would you like to start with Cheyenne some of these we have some scissors here so you can cut some smaller pieces we'll start with some of the long pieces to wind in because that when we wind in the long pieces, it kind of gives our project a little bit of stability so it doesn't move around a little bit much. And all I'm doing is just feeding those items in through those wires to just make them stick there. Kind of like they would in nature if the wind blew them up into a tree and they got stuck there. Kind of the same idea. I'm just going to randomly weave them in where I think it looks good. Now, is that easier or harder to not have a grid? Do you like just having the, um, the strings? I think it would be easier that way, just to make everything kind of stick on here better. But I still like the look of this. So having some long pieces then would make that easier for yeah. yours. Because it will connect them a little bit. So maybe that's something you might want to keep in mind if you want to put a grid in, because it makes it just that little bit easier. So I think I need a little bit more on mine, it's looking a little bit bare. Just cut some different pieces off. Usually when I do things like this, I go in in threes. I'll pick three of the same thing. Just the rule of threes when you're doing arch projects. A little bit of balance. I'm going to grab a few more items. more things over. This would be a nice project to do outside on a nice sunny day. And the wind can blow a little bit and show you how your your project moves like it would in nature. It's nice to watch. Just put some very random things in there. You can see how the different contrasting colors for the different items Kind of makes it look very rustic, kind of neat. I like the selection that we have here of all the different items. Again, mm -hmm. all these things can be found, some in your backyard, some on a hike. I'm not remembering all the names of these plants, but <laughs> that's kind of a fun thing. Thank you. Again, if you want some inspiration, you can look at our original project here that the kids in the Child Development Center did in their art program. I think it was a, an effort of quite a few people. It's a fun family thing to do because everybody can take a turn adding to it and then everybody's contributed to making the project and you can hang it on your wall and everybody can have a sense of pride that they've contributed. Now I think I've seen some of this stuff on Fox Mountain. This is Witch's Hair. Kind of a fun name for that one. I think that's my favorite, especially when you get the really green bits. Very pretty. Now if you're making this project at home and you have animals, just make sure your dogs don't run away with your sticks. That's my only advice. <laughs> Other than that, everything is just fun. Maybe a few more things in there. We didn't get any pine cones today, but I saw some on my walk yesterday. I think those are pretty. Oh, we do have pine cones. I miss those. Just brought them in. You just brought them in. <laughs> we were thinking alike. I see lots of these on my walks in my neighborhood, just from people's trees on their front lawns. So those are very easy to find, and they're very easy to tuck into this project because of all those little grooves. 
So maybe the younger members of your family might like to do the pine cones because they're easy to place. It's a very calming activity. Just getting your, your hands in nature and everything smells very wonderful, especially this fur. It almost smells a little bit like Christmas. It's a, it makes it a nice family thing to do. So and if you are outdoors doing your project, just make sure nothing blows away. Take a deep breath in with that beautiful weather we have out there right now. It's coming together a little bit. How's yours going, Cheyenne? Beautiful, eh? Nice. So from our original one, you'll see there's a little bit of color on there. I like a little bit of color in mine. So I brought with me today also some things that I found in my craft cupboard that I will dry out. I'm a big crafter. I always have little things kicking around. So I'm gonna see if there's anything here that would look nice on our projects. I've got lots of pink. I've got some blue ribbons. I've got some shiny ribbon here somewhere. That looks like, like it might be metal. And I've got some feathers and some little paper flowers and some clay beads. I've also got so just some cotton wool if you want to tie some little bows on things. So I'm going to start with, I think I'd like to have some blue ribbon on mine. Do you like something, Cheyenne? Yeah, I'm really liking those feathers right there. The feathers, there you go. It's all different colors in there. Should have had those open ready to go. I'm going to use these blue pom pom ones. So, when we're doing these projects, it's a nice to think about how lucky we are to live in Williams Lake with all the beautiful places to go and visit and take walks and relax with our families, go for bike rides. It's always good to look around and see what's around in your neighborhood. Lots to see. Where's your favorite place to go, Cheyenne, to hike and find things? Do you like to collect items? I love going to Farewell Canyon and just finding random rocks or even going by the river. I have a whole collection at home. Oh, there you go. I like to collect rocks too. What do you do with your rocks when you get them? Uh, I have a little keepsake box that I keep them in and then sometimes I do little art projects with them like painting. Nice. I'm just putting my strings crosswise again to give me a little bit more places to, to put things. And then just tie it on the ends. So that's just some ribbon I got at the dollar store I had kicking around the house. Sometimes I get things for projects and I don't do them right away. so. flowers. If you're doing this project in the summertime, you can pick some flowers to put in your, your wall hanging. And you can add to this all year around as well. It can be an ongoing project. So these are just paper flowers, but go out there and find some nice wildflowers in the field. And we can use those. So I just have these, these paper ones that I'm going to stick in there. You 
You can even add some shiny things if you have shiny things in your house and they can catch the sun if you're hanging your project outside. And it's just weaving those pieces in and around so that they stay. And there's no right or wrong, it's whatever you feel. If you feel happy today, you might want to put some happier things on there if it's a rainy day out. You're feeling a little bit bored, you might come up with some more creative ideas. I'm going to put one more flower on mine here. I like the feathers, they look very nice. They add a little extra. They do. Put as much or as little on your projects as you like. I've seen some that are very full and some that just have special items. And the more you add, the more solid it will be. It won't be too wobbly because as we weave through it, it makes it a little bit stronger. moss in my corner here. Just tuck it right in your corners if you want to hide some of your string. So you can put beads or anything you have in your own home, in your backyard. Like I said, you can do some today, you could do some next week. It can be an ongoing project when you find new things and then just add them to your wall hangings. So I'm going to tie some ribbon at the top of mine so that I can hang my wall hanging when it's finished. So I've just got some lacy ribbon. Just gonna tie a little bit on the top. These also make great gifts. Make great gifts for your mom, your dad. All right, well, I think mine is as much as I'm going to put on there today. How's yours going? I think it's looking pretty full. There you go. Okay, so I'll just show you mine. That's a little bit how it's going to look there. Don't know if I have a place to hang it up to see what it's going to look like when we hang it up. I'll take this one down. I'll take that one down and put this one up. Yeah. So mine's a little bit smaller. I've lost a pine cone. I didn't weave that one in very good, but as you can see, lots of potential to come together. Have fun with it. Add lots of color and your nature items. very good art project as it's fun to do individually or as a family so just remember to ask your little brother or sister if they want to take a turn make sure you wash your hands really good so you don't have lots of sap on them and glue if you use choose to use any glue I'll show you Cheyenne's here we didn't put a, a thing on it to hang that one yet and then there's Cheyenne's. You can hang it on the wall and you can see the contrast. I haven't put a string on Just this one. Just pretend maybe. There you go. Yeah. 
a little bit bigger. There we go. Very nice. Okay, Anika, is there anything you'd like to say before we wrap up our video? Next week we'll be doing another project. We're probably doing, what do you call them, wind chimes? I think we might be doing wind chimes next, next week. Yeah, so tune in next week.